it's no cow. The tagline, no cow, no bull, no way. Brian Lake back with a supplement review. We haven't done a protein bar review in quite some time. And this is a new brand I thought I'd try. Now, the no cow means there's no whey protein in here. There's no casein protein either. Uh, the protein sources are brown rice and um, pea. So, you know, there's a, a good vegetable source for protein without getting lots of uh, an estrogen increase from that you get from soy. So this thing is very loud, um, the, the, the covering, and the dogs are all... So we have isomalto oligosaccharides, so that's a sugar of some sort, or sugar substitute. Grissant almonds, uh, palm oil, pea protein crisps, um, which has rice flour, cocoa butter, natural flavor salt, citric acid water, monk fruit, and stevia extract. Now it does contain almonds, uh, does contain almonds, uh, produced on equipment that also produces peanuts, soy, milk, wheat, egg, and other tree nuts. So, B, uh, if you have sensitivities to that, uh, take that as you need. So, it is uh, hashtag no cow. And this is the lemon meringue pie bar. So, 22 grams of protein, 1 gram of sugar. It says on here this is not a low calorie snack. Uh, it is only 60, it's a 60 gram bar, 200 calories, 45 grams. Uh, calories from fat, uh, 17 grams of fiber, so that's pretty good, 4 sugar alcohols, um, and 22 grams of protein, which I already said, and Toby's now grabbed the towel. So let's find out if it's any good. Stay there. Oh, it's not the color I was expecting. I thought maybe uh, more of a yellow, since it's lemon. Doesn't have, it really smells like brown rice and peas. Peas, I should say peas, the vegetable. Hmm, so let's see how it tastes. All right, so as you can see here from the cost section, there's the, the crisps in there. This is a very dry bar. It is very dry. It's, you can tell it's, uh, they've taken peas and crushed them up and flour. It has that kind of gritty texture uh, that you would expect from being uh, brown, not right flour, but brown rice and, and, pea, and peas. Um, source. It has a slight lemon flavor, very slight. It's kind of about midway through. Um, so it's not bad. This being my first vegetable protein bar of this sort, it's kind of hard to say, hey, is this a 2 or a 10? Um, however, if you're looking to cut, not to be more vegan oriented or veg vegetarian oriented, you don't want the whey protein, this is pretty good. It is 17 grams of fiber, which is pretty high. So if you really need some fiber, uh, or you, and this will help you feel full, uh, even only 200 calories, I don't think that's a very high calorie bar. It's not very sweet, um, four grams of sugar alcohol, so you don't get this uh, very sweet bomb. It has a slight sweetness to it, but not too much. Uh, so four grams isn't bad. I mean, some of these bars are coming out with 15, 20 sugar alcohols, and I think that's just as bad as sugar for you. One gram of actual sugar, um, but it is very great. And it is very, very dry. You definitely want to have this with water nearby. But, you know, for what it is and the type of bar it is, it's not... I've had some... Years ago, I've had some various vegetable-based protein powders and stuff that were really hard to dissolve and mix and really hard to drink. So in that realm of space of a vegetable-based, this is probably about six and a half, seven in my book. I'm leaving that open for some speculation that there are some of these bars that are better tasting and I'll try and find some. So if not, this could be the, the 10 out of 10 in this market. I don't know. I don't have enough. But to me, taste wise, <clears throat> amongst other say uh, low sugar uh, bars that I've had, this pretty much is, is about a 6.5 to, to 7. It's not very lemony. It's definitely not a meringue uh, pie. <laughs> of what they say and it's very 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 dry and very gritty so take that with as it is so my thing overall it's about a seven i'd give it about a seven on taste six and a half seven on taste and then seven on texture you know it's kind of gritty um 
but I'm leaving it open to say it might come back. There are several flavors of this brand at Meyer, and I'll be trying them over the next few months, and we'll see if they get any better. We'll try some other ones too, and I, and I have tried some in the past and been kind of not really happy with too many of them. All right, all right. So thanks for stopping by. Have you tried the No Cow Bar? Do you like it? Not like it? It's soy free. It's non-GMO. It's vegan, no bull, uh, no sugar added, gluten free. I didn't read all that stuff on the front. No cow, no dairy. Uh, is this good? Or are there better ones out there that I should try? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks so much for subscribing and click the bell notification and we'll see you. Goodbye. Come here. Come here. I'm going to put you on the end. Come here, you can have some of this. Sit down. Sit down. Hey, dear. What? What? Sorry, he's staying. He couldn't get the car out of the driveway. All right.